Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, You and Me, our all-family podcast. I am Rumpelstiltskin, and I'm here with Jason. My name is Jason. I'm the guy who invented the kiss cam at baseball games. Uh, oh. do, you ever, do you ever point at gay people? I said, what if we film people kissing? Do you ever, do you ever film it at two guys? Because you, you never know. What are, there, what are those pals? Well, when I invented it, I, it was more Christian. Oh, but okay. So I, no, we didn't point it at you guys ever. That'd be tough as the camera guy to know, like nowadays. Yeah, who's you, the guy? You, you got to well, who's gay and who's not? Yeah, yeah. Like, if you accidentally point the camera at a non-binary person. Yeah, and who's also, this guy? Uh, well, uh, what's your name? I want to continue uh, this conversation. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Foot, I think Rumpel you still say foot Frankenstein. Good man. Foot Thank Frank? you. No, I stuttered. Did I stutter? Yes. Uh oh, you're getting Biden on us. You're going Biden. Who is this? Uh, uh, Putin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Zelensky. <laughs> classic mix-up. It's so classic. Um, Who's so this Kamala Harris? I, I am genuinely curious. So when they on the Megatron with the, the cameraman. Nice who, to meet you. Genuinely curious. I'm Jason. Who does the kiss yes. cam? <laughs> they got to get it's out. Genuinely. At, Curious George. I'm, I'm sure what they have to do is they have to like walk up. They have someone walk up to a couple and be like, Are you cool if it's on Kiss Cam? No, if that's not no, true. no. If they think they're gay. Oh. Because <laughs> they have to get it probably. They have to get one same sex person probably yeah, in, yeah. in a game. Um, but if if you're with your best friend, like if or, if or if you're with John Hickok at a game and they shine it on you and John Hickok, you have to make out with them. Mm hmm. And then he's going to cry about how YouTube's taking out his videos. And the Titan Tron breaks because of how gross that is. Yeah. It's like spin the bottle just uh, with your boys. Yeah. He was just with the boys. He, 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 he What's was, up with John Hickok? He's crying on YouTube. Because, <laughs> cause then they show it to his dad and they don't make YouTube videos together no more. Mm. And Mac never did with <laughs> his dad. Yeah. No, no we're going to make videos of... Uh, is Dylan even in this? Um, <laughs> I mean... You have the smallest sliver there. All right. I'm Joe Biden. He has, he's the biggest, I'm, uh, though. Joe biggest Biden. Biden. Yeah. I saw this. There's this comic. Uh, he put impressions in his his three things he does. Stand up, improv, and impressions. Nice, that's, that's dude. Good. That's pretty cool. I, I like... Uh, <laughs> I like uh, Who is this? Uh, Dave, David Fox Mullen, I think his name is. David, David Foster Wallace? Yeah, nice. You said he is kind of mm -hmm. stealing his name in a way. What about racist... Uh, Racist impressions. Yeah, I oh. mean, he didn't see. Okay, if I do, if I do a very accurate impression of another culture, is that racist? No. Is it appropriating? No, that's no, our thing. It, I, 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 yes, I'm appropriating it, but I'm not misappropriating it. If mm -hmm. I'm, if I'm like, if I'm pretending to be an old head mm -hmm. uh, on stage at Riddles, and I'm like, "What's up, y'all? My name Woods Tip Wine." <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, a cool name he came They call me Wood Tip Wine wood because tip wine. I'm black and mild. <laughs> well, it's not an impression if it's a made-up character. It becomes a character. Yeah, yeah, but then it's not misappropriating if it's a good impression. Yeah, So, but this is... Um, I'm not talking about a specific person on purpose because I don't want to make fun of them, you know? So, wood Tip Wine. Uh, what about... Well, like impression the, is the best... It, uh, it, was, it was flattery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually not making fun of them. All I want to do. So is if I go like, I'm Mac and I suck cock, yeah. I'm flattering you. You feel oh, flattered. Did yeah. Impression. Uh, impression is the that's a good one. Flattery. Mm -hmm. That you kind of stole what my. You kind of stole my. I'm Sam Town. I'm wearing shorts. Shorts one. Mm -hmm. I didn't steal shit from you. Pretty similar voice. Uh, speaking. Did I ever of, steal anything from speaking you? Of Sam, I don't think I have. I mean, uh, it would just be flattery. Maybe some lighters. Yeah, I mean, pals just dying joke you did on stage. Listen here, buddy. I wouldn't steal a lighter from you. That's how little <laughs> respect I have. Um, you, you never steal your jokes. We've we've shared you've uh, we've shared podcast jokes, of course, because they all go around. Uh, and then they end up on Kill Tony. This pals with Stein. Absurd. Uh, this is crazy. Oh, somebody yeah. else did that obvious joke. Yeah, I <laughs> said in the, in the group chat. I guess. Jason's always five days behind. No, I texting. saw it. I just don't like. It's respond. funny that J it's funny that Jason. <laughs> I, it. I skim everything to make sure it's not urgent, and then I don't respond. <laughs> and then if it's urgent, you're like, I'll if skim urgent, a little bit I'll, harder. Uh, you know, it makes I'll me try think that reply. <laughs> Jason. It makes me think Jason didn't come up with it because he said, "Oh yeah, that guy found that obvious joke." It makes it's it seem obvious. like something that I came up with. It's like something. Because mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say you're that right, you're if right. I came up with it. 
That makes it seem like I didn't come up with it because all my jokes are you're shitting It makes it. it seem like you came up with it because all your jokes are obvious. That's not true at all. Is that what you just said? <laughs> no. My oh, never mind. I, I, People say like it's what a What were you in Swine 11? Hey, what the hell? you're fat. You're a fat pig. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, man. <laughs> Mac, you I'm sorry. Be I, I, I had to come in hot. Uh, you're being a little mean. and so what, were, were you in that uh, the blimp explosion, the Kronensberg? Nice. No. <laughs> I was. I you was have Crohn's, the Cronenberg. Mm-hmm. The reason I, the reason <laughs> I, the I brought you. Film. Were you on the Crohn's Titanic? <laughs> yeah, it's the Titanic. <laughs> it's the tragedy that has of Crohn's. I've been waiting for years, Jason, uh, to. Well, I'll tell actually, you what, I can't tell you, but one thing I have to say <laughs> is that he I was on the loose ass. It t- he was in the bathroom when it's sinking. I, w- I was. They put a whole iceberg up his ass. <laughs> I have two things to say. <laughs> His ass got hit by an iceberg. <laughs> yeah. I Actually, 75% t- of the iceberg is in Mac's ass. <laughs> <laughs> or you can only see 5%. Oh, you can only see 5%. The other 95% is in Mac's ass. <laughs> what is that like? I mean, it, it, it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did want to say two things. All right. All right. I was on a train and uh, it flipped. And I heard that somebody put a nickel on the track. Oh, I did do that. So oh, no. I've. I've, well, been, yeah, I, I've been holding it in for years, Jason. You're, and you're, the time has come. <laughs> when, you were on I that train I flipped? Train. Yeah. <laughs> oh one time I, I no wonder you have such a... That's how I became cool. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like... Uh, it's actually the plot to the movie uh, Unbreakable. Oh, I made a pits of help. <laughs> I made a pits of help. Yeah. Yeah, remember uh, he does. He got. He was on a train, and everyone died but him. This is the pits. <laughs> this is the pits of Hellberg. Whoa, that rules. <laughs> wow. Did you so use the, AI or did you just make that? I just made it. That's sick. <laughs> Back from the pits of help. You no, know, sick. I stopped a train once. You did? There's a an with old the, lady. Oh, with your mind, right? No, she was yelling, uh, help. She Help, stop the train. Oh, I remember her this. Autistic I remember friend, this story. Yeah. Was it me and Tina dropped you off at the train station? And no, th- this was his was, excuse yeah, to, to, to be late the, here. I was counting the train tracks and I got... A little off track, and were you staring at the third uh, rail longingly? Yeah, I was trying to <laughs> count them without moving my yeah. eyes. And yeah, you considering? Yeah, uh, that was that punching was, out. That was your <laughs> excuse for being late to the podcast one time, and we just didn't believe you because it was so insane. You, you could, you said you stopped a train to save I an did. autistic kid, and we were like, yourself. Mm-hmm. I and pulled this. Yeah, <laughs> you the pulled one, the She thing. was like, "Help! She's she's autistic." Like someone that was locked out, and I'm. And pulling it and I'm, I'm me too yeah so what else, what it's about like, me how many, how is, many, is, there, is there another autistic my, person on board that can help <laughs> yeah. like where's eight people raise their hand they're all hanging out at the train station yeah. <laughs> there's all these <laughs> autistic people hanging out yeah. <laughs> but it's like asking for a doctor is there another up. autistic person to save them <laughs> Honestly, I have a better though. train over here I follow a guy who like loves trains I don't know if he's autistic but he's like the train pulls into the station and he starts like going, he starts going like yippee, like a little kid. What? What? Did, <laughs> this lady's it's like, yeah, yeah. I bet, I bet they love like, like steam ships too. Yeah, steam is kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Steampunk? No, like I, don't, I don't like steampunk. What about when you have a giant spider? Wait, what's steampunk again? Uh, it's like, uh, it's like old timey, like, but it's uh, like technology that's all made out of like steam and old timey bullshit. Is, is they're it like mixing like the future? You ever and the see past? Uh, uh, Wild Wild West with Will Smith? Yeah. This big spider guy, uh, he's a steampunk. The only thing I remember I like about that, that movie is he he plays the woman's breasts like they're drums. <laughs> I, I, like they're a bong, yeah. bongo drum. Did you feel like he was doing like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, like punching the them or something? <laughs> yeah. He it plays was, them a little bit. Yeah. Just, uh, um, I I think the spider the legs were too big on the thing. That was kind of a copy off of uh, the Star Wars with those big uh, things with the big oh. legs that walked around. You think it was a ripoff. I, I like smaller spider legs that I want to get when I'm rich. Oh, you know he that? had those too. He had those on his body. Remember? Oh, he did. Yeah, he's in a wheelchair and then he gets out and he has spider legs under like the bottom half of his. Are body. they ro- are they robotic spider? He legs? He has no legs. Yeah, and he has robot oh, spiders. So I want to get that, but like uh, obviously way more like advanced. So it'd be like titanium. Um, Alloy of diamond. Yeah, he mm-hmm. d- he's using probably like wrought iron. Yeah, because it's steampunk. It's all like old, inferior, Rusty. like shit, but like with newer, cooler technology. What, like, do, you, what do you think we've been like if we were in a vaudeville, whatever? Is that how you say it? Even vaudeville. 
Yeah. We, we could have been in. It's vaudeville. It's vaudeville. What are you talking Vaud-a-ville. about? Vaudeville. Vaudeville. That's is, how you pronounce it. What is this? It's just like old time me just show business. Uh, okay. Hey, so imagine if we were like, like, hey, performers yeah, back. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're going to make it, kid. I, I wish I could see us in that era. You mean like the 1920s? Kind of yeah. Like, yeah. Or no, probably more like, probably more like 50s. Then, we'd, probably we'd 40s, have, 50s. We'd have a podcast and we'd be like, the three stooges are all molesting their children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> does, any, does anyone talk about the 30s? shit about the three stooges? Yeah. <laughs> no one talks about the 30s. Hey, mm-hmm. hey did you hear Mo is beating his, up his girlfriend? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mo, and uh, you hear L- Larry is a joke thief. Mo, <laughs> wait, Mo Abed? Mo, Larry, and Curly. Mo Abed? No, Mo, Larry, and Curry. Larry David? <laughs> uh, we're from, uh, the, I'm doing Vaudeville. So there's Larry, <laughs> Larry the Cable Guy is one of the Stooges. When did uh, uh, TV come out or film? Or when did it start becoming mass distribution? Like, uh, Wiz- Wizard of Oz. 1652? No, The Wiz was first, then The Wizard of the Oz. The Wiz, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The Wiz. And then the white man stole oh, it yeah. and made their yeah. version. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, Wizard of Oz. Like Elvis type of people. I White think. people are always appropriating black culture. And then Elvis, I stole, the Wiz. Elvis stole steampunk yeah. from <laughs> black people. Mm-hmm. And uh, then, and then, I, what? Now you got uh, Billy Irish stealing uh, stuff too. Billy Irish, mm-hmm. at it again. Yeah. Wow, this tastes like he's a, a bad guy. You guys uh, ever have those? Uh, it's uh, a popsicle uh, freeze, free freeze pops. Like uh, it's in a bag, um, and you would just get the. It's, oh it's, yeah, it's, you it's cut like, it open and yeah, yeah, yeah it's it summertime. Comes in, yeah, it's like a long pouch. Uh-huh. Those you, are you freeze saving them. Grace Popsicles. on Weight oh, Watchers. No, wait. Sorry. Uh, what were you saying, Dylan? Those are my saving grace when I was on Weight Watchers because they'd be like only five calories. What are those things called? Uh, uh, there's different freezy fr- pops. Freeze maybe. pops is freeze one pops. pops. Yeah, but there's a brand name for times. them. But we, uh, we used to say, but I forgot what it was. Also, Capri Suns are good. Capri Suns, kind of the, kind of the go gurt of popsicles. Mm-hmm. Hey, I would I would yeah. say that in, in fact. What about Hawaiian Punch? <laughs> Hawaiian punch. punch. When I was a kid, my little brother Jacob always had a Hawaiian punch mustache. Oh wow! Like every day. Really? <laughs> yeah. He loved Hawaiian punch. We'd always have the goddamn little white guy in a surfboard, you know. Yeah. I and remember. I head. hate Hawaii because I went there one time and someone punched me in the face. <laughs> yeah. And I was, is I it because you're a, is I it because you're a howly? Uh, yeah. I let, <laughs> he was like, he's and he was like, that's right, white boy, and he started uh, doing. They, they, doing they a call you a howly. That's what white boy. No, well, he, he said white boy, and he said, this is America also. What? Yeah, and he said, get out, uh, you gringo, who's also American. I go, at least I'm from a part of America that isn't in another square in the bottom of the continental true. U.S. Yeah, bitch. true. Which, yeah. And then I flew back, and boy, are my arms tired. Uh-huh. <laughs> New gringo. <laughs> I remember fifth grade, first day, I felt so cool because we had a vending machine. I got to roll up. I had a couple dollars, and I got a Hawaiian punch. And then just like afterwards, I was like, I wasn't that cool. <laughs> <laughs> I feel just like fat. I feel so. like uh, Newt, uh, Harold Patrick looks like a Newt. Mm-hmm. So I've been saying he looks like a gecko for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I know. I uh, said me and him could do those Geico commercials. I'll be the caveman and he could be the fucking lizard. He well, looks like a lot of things. So He's what, a stand-up I'm comedian. trying to figure out how we uh, incorporate Newt. Newt Gingrich into Harold Patrick. What's what would it be? N- Newt Little Kingrich, Little Kidgrich. The, the, there we the go. Newt kid on the block. No. Yeah, I want. What about I? He's I saw this uh, album on YouTube, a uh, comedy album. It was uh, it's my vibe or something mm-hmm. by the Chicago guy Brian Rowe. Oh that's yeah, a, I heard that. That's really good. That's a, it's really good. It's a two chain song. Really good. Check it out, folks. Um, and then um, once you realize you got Rick, Rick Rolled, come back and like and subscribe. <laughs> that would be awesome, honestly. If Wait, you got Rolled? Said they did. You got Ro- Rolled? Yeah. <laughs> you just got Rolled. That'd be funny. R O E L O E D. I got Rick Roe v. Wade. <laughs> if you record an album, but then I'm like, I know that no one's gonna show up. So, and then I just post it later. Yeah. I, th- and I think just Rick roll everyone's dumb ass. I'm I'm very pro choice. I'm very pro choice of the government to illegalize abortion in the whole country. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, to me it's the government's <laughs> choice. Yeah. Man's choice, woman's choice, no, the government's choice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm individual pro, citizens I'm, can't be up, I, you know. I'm pro choice, but I'm, I'm not 
specifying whose choice. Yeah, sometimes people <laughs> want freedom. I'm like, you really want to make that decision? Yeah. Like, the burden of the decision? Honestly, I just kind of want a dictator because uh-huh. just tell me what to do. I'm, I, I'm pro-choice. I think there should be more choices than just uh, kill or let the baby live. Yeah. Uh-huh. What about sending the baby to space or something? Yeah. What else could we do with the baby? No, like a, put it in a bucket. No, you throw it off a cliff like a Spartan, put it off like a Spartans cliff. did. Yeah. But if it survives, then it becomes king. Uh, do what the Chinese do and <laughs> just uh-huh. throw them anywhere. That's like Moses put it in a basket in the river. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> they, sh- they should allow that. Yeah. Um, throw it in a burning I, bush, like I, Moses. Oh. Throw it in a burning bush. I think I think in one state you're allowed to uh, you're allowed to kill him after it's born. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Uh, uh, pro choice and pro life, they both sound like good things. That's yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pro choice. I think I'll take pro life. I'm pro. Okay? I'm, I'm pro life. Pro choice. It's m- the man decides. Yeah, pro-choice and pro-life uh, can be a very, very broad thing, you mm-hmm. know? Like, if you're pro-choice, I'm pro-choice to go get a gun. Yes. I, th- I, th- I think I should have the choice to get a gun. Again. Right? Roe v. Wade, what was this court case about uh, of... be, right. being in a lake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roe yeah, yeah, yeah. waiting? Yeah. No, it's it, <laughs> it <sounds> good. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to incorporate Brian Rowe. Oh, yeah, sorry. Brian Rowe Good. versus Dwayne Wade. Yeah. A, a Dwayne Wade was the only Wade I could think of. <laughs> yeah. Um, Rowe Row versus nobody waiting in line to go to his show. Something like that. No one. Rowe versus uh, Ro 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 people waiting out of uh, Nighthawk. Ro. Slowly waiting. Uh-huh. Quickly sprinting out of Nighthawk. Brian Rowe on Wait, Wait, Don't Tell. <laughs> Uh, don't tell comedies tonight, folks, and I can't tell you where it is. That just, I don't know. It seems foolish to me to do this mystery of. I guess that's how bad the comedy I, must well, be. No, that's if how. You don't even want to say who's on the show. That's how dumb and that's how dumb people are. They think that that's like a cool novelty. Like that's not cool. It's just it's like it's like a, a bar that doesn't have like a sign. Like oh, it's like uh-huh. niche. So who the fuck cares if it's niche? But then it's like you really want to put these comics pictures on there. Tell and me who's see. on the show now is what I say. And, and just like it's going to be, mean, where is it? When say, is it? Say, hey, don't, don't tell is going to ruin comedy. They're uh-huh. going to make, because they're already like, they're doing like a, Headshot. it's like venture co- comedy showism, you know? Yeah. They're gonna put all the local shows out of business with yeah. these horrible like, and I'm like don't hey, tell hey, shows, hey, which are not gonna pay shit. They barely pay now, and they're already like starting to reduce the prices. And they're also having audiences vote on which comics they like, so they know which comics will work at their shows for these very low prices. Wow. It's gonna like it's gonna fuck up. We're gonna be, it's gonna fuck up pay for comedy. Mm-hmm. Don't tell is bad. I could, I got, I'm already seeing they're like. There's doing way some venture capital. That sucks because I'm like in co- I'm in comedy for the money. Yeah, you know, so that sucks. Yeah, um, well, it's definitely gonna like people are gonna be doing these twenty dollar don't tell spots while they're making hundreds of dollars each show. Well, I'll do a message for and they don't have to do anything. They don't have to come out. They don't. They don't. You like the comedians run the show for like the spots. You know, like uh-huh. it's just a sla- it's find, just slavery they have to of find, comedians. Yeah. They have yeah. to find the spots, though, right? <laughs> they have to, line. yeah. They have to like make some phone calls. And, but, but they have to like find some like uh, uh, find some. I did a show in a bong shop in Erie, Pennsylvania. I, I love Erie, Pennsylvania. Shout out Erie. Um, People were paying like fifteen bucks a ticket to see Connor Cowley, dude. So <laughs> uh, uh, one out of ten. How much is a don't tell show? I don't know. It's like fifteen twenty bucks. No. And you're seeing like literally people you could see at free comedy shows all exactly. week. Are you shitting on Mike Robinson? Yeah, I mean you could see him uh, for free. You can also pay and his, a lot of comedy you can shows also at the Lincoln Lodge. Lot. Sounds like they're devaluing. Oh, he's doing the it. Um, guys. Michael Robinson is doing a half hour uh, on August something, early August. Nice. Where at? Uh, comedy bar. See, I like that. I know where it's going to be at. Mm-hmm. And who it is? So look it up. Uh, this is uh, this is good for him. This is his new material uh, since getting sober, and uh, he's been crushing. So just go. imagine, just show, you know. What about Chinese Michael Robinson? You show Hello, up and you got I'm, the. I'm brack and sober. I'm pretty excited to go. This uh, don't tell show. It's the whole wall of ops. Yeah. Except for Ken Flores. Wait, who's on the don't tell show tonight? Aside from Michael Robinson. It's going to be... Paul Farrakhan? I wish, dude. 
Come on, you shouldn't be yeah, paying to see Bob Keaton. This isn't a roast Keaton. battle. He's like, I used to be. I, you shouldn't have to pay to see Bob Keaton. I yeah, used to be a lawyer, a and then I d- did comedy. I went to Florida one time. I got COVID. Mm-hmm. Who's that? Uh, Paul Farrakhan. Oh. Mm-hmm. Is, I, that, is that yeah. Heck O'Brien? Hey, Paul, Paul, Paul Rick is in the house. Say, yeah. <laughs> I was looking at the list of comics coming to that Batavia Club. Like, I was going down and looking all the weeks. So I think I got an email or something. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, it was all like pretty big acts, like Chad Daniels uh-huh. and shit are coming, and then uh, and then Paul Farrakhan. <laughs> <laughs> he was headlining. Like everyone on there had like TV credits yeah, and stuff, and then Paul strong, Farmer. Like, I yeah. was like, huh. <laughs> all right, you guys keep rolling. He's, that just what is that? I gotta, put my, I gotta get sunglasses and uh, make sure my camera's on D and D. I don't think I put it on D and D. What is D and D? We froze Dungeons and nah, Dragons. Do not d- do not absurd. Should I say something like really bad to get us banned off YouTube? Uh, yeah, yeah, say something really mm. just absurd. No. Say something no. absurd. No. Some absurdist, absurdist. Uh, some anti. That wasn't bad. That it? wasn't Max Source. That was somebody important. What if we talking got about somebody Max on the podcast yeah. who just did sound effects? No, we have. That was Luchin. <laughs> they don't talk. They just do sound effects. That was Luchin who was booed uh, using no, something offensive. Impressionist. They, they can get really creative. Luchin found like, a way to get, get on stuff from movies. Luchin found a way to get on the live chat and he oh. booed it. Luchin can put the the impression thing on his posters, but he stopped doing comedy. Yeah, Luchin <laughs> has the most potential out of anybody so in the whole man. world. He's the funniest. Sam Talent of all time. Adam Ray stole his impression. And yeah, he, he's already successful. He doesn't need it. Yo, oh, well, he need, the world. The world needs. I guess Alex I'm kind of in that boat. What? I only do this stuff for my uh, ego now. Mm-hmm. I yeah, don't but, need it. Yeah, but Luchin's funnier than you are. Well, yeah, I'm saying I'm already successful though. Like I don't need to do comedy. Yeah, I'm not successful at comedy. Now. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Yeah, and neither is Alex. But you know? but he he could be. We're going to start talking about who's funnier than who. You're saying Alex is funnier than me. Who's funnier than you, Mac? Uh, Probably Alex. Everybody. <laughs> that, what the, that what the heck, man? Nice. Yeah, that's right. That's how you hurt people's, that's see, how you hurt see, people's see, feelings. Luchin's on my side. Honestly, I got heckled by a cricket a few weeks ago. <laughs> During one of my shows, <laughs> the guy who booked it played a cricket noise. <laughs> really? Yes. One, one time I, after one of my podcasts. Uh, I forget this guy's. Oh, Eric Pinnell. It was it was cool. It was unpaid and like an hour away, and yeah. and he heckled <laughs> and he me with a cricket. The, cr- the producer did yeah. of the show. Jesus Christ! What, what Were there people there? Yeah, some. <laughs> one time after one of my punchlines, uh, I got heckled by uh, a pin drop. A pin dropped on the ground. Oh jeez! And, and yeah, and you that could was hear an it. old <laughs> that was an old wow. Jay Harris line. There was this guy Damn it. Jay Harris <laughs> who, when his joke didn't work, he'd go. I think I could hear a pin drop. Oh. He would say something like that. It's pretty good. Yeah. I'll be like, you guys no are better than the last right. show I was at. When I did that joke, um, when I did that that punchline, I heard, I could hear a, wait, that's his thing. A pin drop? Uh-huh. <laughs> Is that what you say? Yeah. Shit, you're Jay Harris. I dropped a pin the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear a drop. And I heard it. Yeah. After it, my joke. You know who can hear a pin drop? Jake Pita. Thank you, everybody. Thank nice. you. This is very guys, okay. Guys, no, I, what about this? I bring it's a pin. Ableist. I bring a pin on stage, and then uh-huh. after after nobody laughs, I drop it. Yeah, yeah. like oh god, uh, you, you guys, guys hear that? You guys will hear that? A pin dropped. Yeah, that was an anti joke. Yeah, Ever just, heard of it? Yeah. <laughs> I actually told a bad joke on purpose so I could do the whole pin drop yeah, thing. That was on purpose. Yeah, you dummies. Yeah. You guys don't even know anything about the metaverse. I'm playing three-dimensional chess up here. Yeah. I know there's mm-hmm. so many types of metas. Meta humor, my friend meta, the mm-hmm. metaverse. I, yeah. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Mm-hmm. Everything's meta now. Meta, yeah. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Where the guy turns into mm-hmm. a cockroach. Um, Megamorphs. Okay. Joe Biden turns yeah. into Putin. So I was, so I was watching... Uh, this show called Hollywood Homicide. Weren't you going to do something and then you didn't do it? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't, you <laughs> something came up. And okay. then it was... Uh, Hollywood Homicide? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I realized the word homicide it has homo in it. Mm. It's kind of gay. It's kind of gay to kill people. Yeah. So don't kill people, folks. That's probably why it's in mm-hmm. the in the Ten Commandments. That's why I always thought that homicide was when you kill a gay guy. Yeah. Because mm. I miss... Because I, I just believe in morphemes. And that was like well, worse <laughs> than even that he was gay? Yeah. Fucked. What if it was like a, just like a homo on the side? I I only do heterocides. Uh-huh. Is that not is that a word? Heterocide? I got a homo. I, I say no. I got homo a homo. Side. I got a homo on my mm. side right here. No uh-huh. homo side. I got a homo on my side. 
I mean, yeah. yeah I mean, you, well, you notice the homo. Yeah. I never noticed that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, do you see the shirt? What about it? it Pretty it, cool shirt. Uh, it looks like it's uh, Adam Quasla type of shirt a little bit. What are you talking about? It's crying. <laughs> it's no, completely it's, dry. Okay, what, it's what, what covering you, his whole the body. The point is, so Adam Quasla's shirt is wet. Well, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think is harder, Joe Biden? Sure. Uh, trying Why are you to do figure this? out who? Come on, man. Adam Quasla's <laughs> shirt is, is belly hair. Okay, though. fine. I, I want Adam Quasla. You. I'm yeah. sorry. You're being mean to me earlier. You see, this? We you see what I'm gay. doing right here? You're being. You think Adam Quasla could do this without pulling his shirt off? You're being mean to me without earlier, ripping it? and this was my payback. <laughs> it's time that we. Do, you Your know, payback is to use my really funny jokes that are about Adam Quasla. Oh about yeah, me. fighting fire with fire. Do you want to live in this life forever, Mac? Wait, what life? Yeah. Adam Quasla walks like. <laughs> I do. You can Quasla, come out today. Uh, I want to live this in this the pod. I don't uh, think this has anything to do with him being fat, but he walks around like somebody's rolling him on a dolly. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that? Like he's tilted back <laughs> when he's walking. Yeah, it's like it's a counterweight. <laughs> what thing is he, that? Does he have to walk? Maybe like he that? has that's to like to counterweight. Yeah, <laughs> his, belly. his belly. That's why. Maybe I, it is a fat. That's guy. why I said one time he walks around like somebody from the Gilded Age, mm-hmm. but he uh-uh. he doesn't like look like one. But like he walks around like. Uh, like Andrew Carnegie would, uh-huh. or, or Johnny <laughs> Rockefeller. How, oh uh, yeah, like a business, like big about <laughs> yeah. town yeah. businessman. Like on his shoes and stuff. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I guess if he didn't walk like that, he'd probably have a really bad back because that tummy would Dude, really. Th- he down. probably has a really bad back, but yeah. like already. <laughs> like, pe- like people get breast reductions, women get breast reductions yeah. because it's bad for their back, and mm-hmm. sometimes they actually turn out to be good and su- and like nice and perky. But it's always I've been fat my whole life. Adam Quaslow used to be thin when he was a kid. I've seen really? childhood pictures of wow. him on Facebook. Have you ever thought about getting a breast reduction? I don't really. I don't really. Can't really do that. <laughs> the other day, this girl was like, "Our, our tits I look like look Abigail Blaze." I don't know who that is. She detransitioned. She's. We have a detransitioner in our comedy scene. Oh, she, oh, 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 I know her. I know her. I always forget her name. Abigail Blaze. Wait, so she got a cool name. Wait, so girl, man, girl. Yeah. Uh, what does she have downstairs? I, was uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been downstairs with her. Uh-huh. No, I mean, although I, I feel, although based on her personality, I'm, I'm, I'm I don't just, think it'd be that difficult to get there. I'm just, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. As All to she what, does is talk about fucking. Yeah, but uh-huh. she doesn't even say if she has a P or V. Uh, what What does she have brown stairs? <laughs> <Poop>. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the sound effects are good. Uh, yeah. What, what about this one? Do you guys like this one? No. <laughs> That's the worst one. Why do you have that even? I don't know. That, one, that like one made me go source. like. <laughs> you should put the headphones on the dog and play that. Yeah. <laughs> dog permanently, ma- permanently make the dog not your friend. Wait, so this is what the guy did? Yes. He's probably really good at sound effects <laughs> with his voice. <laughs> It was his only sound effect. He did it to no one else, and I did. I was doing good. Can he do the helicopter one, like, <laughs> like Wait, Michael Winslow? That uh, that's something I really love is when comics can make noises really well. Yeah, we used I to think have whole career. Love sound effects. Before smartphones, you could make a whole career by being able to do start uh, sound effects with your mouth. Now we can just put it on our phone. No, no, yeah, I, I was that's just kidding video. about it. Michael Winslow. Remember like, that, like remember he, he got. He was in the Police Academy movies. Uh-huh. And also space balls. In police academy, the shooting happens uh, outside the school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm crushing any, it right any, now. Anywhere but the school. Yeah. What do you think about this when a hacky Racist. black comic goes, we don't, you know, white people do school shootings, black people don't. Yeah. And I'm, I'm always good. thinking, yeah, black people never shoot anybody. No. I always think, yeah, <laughs> no, black people well, never I, I helped. I helped Mike <laughs> formulate a joke, and, and it's... Uh, it's uh, it's all these white school shooters. You don't, uh, there's no black school shooters. Motherfucker, we, we don't go to school. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh-huh. How, yeah. how, how are you going to be a school shooter if you ain't in school? <laughs> we outside shooting. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> there's more room for shooting outside. So that, yeah, that oh. makes the joke way funnier. And they, but the, and they shoot That more. makes that whole thing way funnier. <laughs> yeah. I uh, guess. And I helped write it. Yeah, you did it. Yeah. I could be a good. Uh, Mike said he's gonna. He's, <laughs> if he makes it big, he's gonna take me on the road with him. That's cool. What and are you I, gonna do? Carry his stuff? I'm gonna write his comedy. Nice. You're gonna be his. He's fit. roadie. Is roadie? Mm-hmm. You gonna sleep on his couch? Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna mm. be. I'm gonna sleep on his floor. Hump day. 
What the fuck? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's where people yeah, really like yeah, Wednesdays. No. <laughs> I, I guess they have a button for Wednesdays. Uh, What's this? Every day feels like Saturday to me. <laughs> Because every day feels That's from sadder the than the Jason day Jason, Yeah, I like that one. It says, "Chasen." Say something scary. Chasen like Jason. See, it's a they can't they don't want to get copyright infringed, so they called it Chasen. I'm gonna put that, Jason is chasing you. Well, I'm gonna add that to favorites. I don't know. I'm just saying it's pretty level five no, over here. I'm saying <laughs> on the on your board, Chasen. I you know. hear what I'm saying? I, I, like I he hear exactly what you're it, saying. God damn. Like Jason Voorhees, but chasing instead of Jason. And it's what Jason does. He chases And, and I was you. thinking when we bring you in on chases episodes, I can, I can say, it and, and Jason, and then play that. That would be cool. <laughs> so I'm going to try to put in favorites. So you guys keep talking. I'll put this, at, this in favorites. Look at my sunglasses. You know, we were going to keep talking anyways. <laughs> were you? Yeah, it's a podcast. Sometimes when I walk away, like nothing happens. Mm-hmm. That's what you think. So what? what does that say about... Sometimes when you walk away, we have a big party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> yeah, and you're not invited. <laughs> we start dancing and <laughs> celebrating. and It's like when the teacher leaves the room, it's like, fucking finally, What's dude. that one called? Michael, Michael oh Myers. My. That's, that's for Michael Myers. Michael Myers. Wait, how do Michael I add it to favorites? Michael Myers. He's the smiley face killer. He did the voice of Shrek, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he... Was in the the band the monkeys. <laughs> Is that, we don't we don't say that word. Smash mouth. Mm-hmm. Hey now, you're a Is rock star. Get yeah. your game on. You're like, gay. That, that's why I call it when uh self conscious about my shirt now. When I when I bang uh, Max Mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you get for being mean to me and saying I got an iceberg up my ass earlier. Well, that was funny though. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, I, didn't get, I didn't get. I didn't get sad. I, I was just preparing for payback. Were you? Uh, I was. I was loading my at arse arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you were stretching out your ass, you were just getting ready for uh, getting fucked in the back. Mm-hmm. That's not nice. Instead of payback, fucked in the back. Just because you you hurt people, hurt people. I understand. Yeah. Uh, um, people with hurt asses hurt people. You kind of mm-hmm. remind me That's of you. You being all sad kind of reminds me of Brian Crow. Yeah. He said he had an unsinkable shit. Uh, I, I deserve the cricket on that one, to be honest. I don't unsinkable like what? Shit, because they called the Titanic the unsinkable ship. Mm. Yeah. And then it sank, which was just ironic as hell. That's kind of like an oxymoron, the the sinkable, the, uh, the sinkable unsinkable ship. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. It's like, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. There, were two, there were two out of three of the company made. So, there's another Titanic that was also made by the same company. What was it called? Pipanic? Uh, I think it was called like Skycanic. It was called something like Pri Pri Panic. I don't know. Uh, it was what, similar. What's that one from the Aviator? Titan. The giant plane. What was it called? The Titan or something? At the end, they made the giant plane. The big plane. Uh, it, it's called the big plane. I think. I think it's called big planes. Got Hindenburg. Be. Uh, uh, no, that's the Kronzenberg. That's uh, a that, that's. What about uh, you ever no, see no, that, Rookie that's of Adam the Year? That's Adam he, He's the uh, the Hindenburg. The Hindenburger. Is, is that what the thing was called? The Zeppelin. Quaslo, mm-hmm. Quas Cherry, and then, and then was it all <laughs> coming oh, the, for the carry? I always mix up Nure- Nuremberg and Hindenburg. <laughs> Quasi Lodo, Quaslo, Quas Chariot, coming forth to Quasimodo has the hunchback. Quasi Lodo has the opposite. Oh, we His should. His back is unhunched. Okay, I'm going to do a few things. Quaslo, right Quas Chariot, coming forth to make me disassociate at the open mic. Quaslo walks like mm-hmm. Conor McGregor. He does. He does. He walks like He's Conor McGregor swagger. in that movie. Uh-huh. Uh, what's that movie? Oh, the scary walk? Yeah. <laughs> Turn on the lights. God damn. Yeah, because you had the other light on. Uh,. Darkness, my old well, I'm friend. distracted by whatever the hell you're doing. I live in the darkness. I am the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a post that said uh, Breaking Bad was the best thing to ever happen to bald people. That's uh, probably true. Well, no, Stone Cold Rogaine, Steve Austin. Wave, Rogaine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stone Cold Steve therapy. Austin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff that happened to bald people. Yeah. How about being black? That's a cool thing for bald yeah, people. Yeah, it's way better. My dad would tan all the time because... You look Puerto Rican. I think you could... 
I think you're. I need. I think you probably got a good bald look, but you don't ever rock it. Yeah. People have said I have a good head shape for it, which just makes me that's skeptical huge, dude. of it. But that's huge. Yeah, it is. My well, head. no, because a head shape is all it counts. Uh-huh. You know, some people don't have a good head shape for it. Which, oh God. Sometimes they have like a five head. It's all bumpy. Like a big long uh-huh. forehead, or sometimes they have too short a forehead. That's freaky to me. Yeah, I don't like, want your forehead to start at your. I don't want your top of your head to start at your eyeballs. You know. No, I don't want to be like a Mike Lazowski or something. They got your. Uh, <laughs> I hate how they got your. They put your. Is. They did something with. They put. I always. <laughs> they like did something to your head as a baby, like they pressed it in. They would oh, bind yeah. it, and they would have cone heads. And then the Romans were like, they were like monsters, and like everyone thought that it was like hyperbole, like they were just like saying that because like they were. No, I'm not talking about that. Sometimes people head binding. I'm not babies. talking about head binding. I'm talking about they sleep people on have their too back. Too short a forehead. Oh, <laughs> you were talking about wrapping a head. I said, I said it looks like something oh. like that happened to them. Oh well, then I went to. <laughs> we were having a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I was going to something like that. Weren't you supposed to be doing a bunch of stuff? You, I thought you were busy. I <laughs> did that, and then I uh, anyway, couldn't, couldn't resist the conversation. He had to come back. <laughs> babies that don't get flipped <laughs> on their yeah, stomach. you got to flip them like a yeah. hamburger. Yeah, you gotta get a big old uh, flipper thing. Yeah, I like uh, when, uh, spatula. Women Wait, are nice no, sometimes, uh, and they say, "No, the bald, it's hot." And I think they might think it's it, hot, and they say it's a different kind of hot. And I'm like, Ooh. "Okay, what kind?" And and then it's like, "What else can you have? Nothing of something that's usually good." Sometimes, and then it's good to have none of it. I don't know, dude. Women think Is I'm attractive, even broke? though I'm a big fat guy. Like their brains. Like it's one thing I understand about women being attracted to things is women are dumber than us. Yeah, it's not so they about, like like well, you're weird fe- shit. Well, like well, you're being bald you're, or you're fat. fetish. Uh-huh. They like it. Yeah, just yeah. some specific because their brains are dumb. Yeah, uh-huh. I did see. We're Andrew geniuses, Tatches. so we know <laughs> women are hot when they're hot. Yeah. Man. Well, I mean. It, I mean, we we all went to college and then went to Jupiter to get more stupider. Yeah. So obviously, we're going to be smarter than obviously. Them. I mean, it's it's society's fault for saying them Jupiter. I'm not like obviously women aren't inherently stupider, mm-hmm. but they went to Jupiter. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like yeah, try using that in the job market. Yeah, you deserve to get paid. Yeah, well, <laughs> where's yeah. your education, <laughs> Jupiter? Mm-hmm. Um, what was your major? Got more stupider. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like not, yeah, not getting hired. Doi. Isn't it funny that like astronauts have to be so smart? Meanwhile, they're going to Jupiter to get stupider. It's like yeah. kind of ironic, right? It was it, it was so hard to get to the moon, but they're sending women to, every woman to Jupiter to, yeah. for school. Well, what the hell? <laughs> women really helped us get to the moon, but then we mm. got them to Jupiter. So yeah, um, black checkmate. women did all the math on a chalkboard. Uh-huh. Yeah, I like how you, you uh, mentioned the the qu- black queen in chess. What about it? Who did that? Uh, that was a while back. Yeah, a long time Who ago. Who did? What? Um, uh, well, we were talking about something about how how it was something about prison, about how 99% of black males are in prison, and then that we should swap the white people with black people like chess. Uh-huh. And then uh, chess was like, and then like also in chess, uh, black gets to go first. Oh, you got to hold down the black queen. Black gets to go first. Yeah. yeah. And then the, the beautiful black queen uh, can jump over all the pawns. Uh-huh. And and because all, all the pawns hold her up. They, yeah, they're uh, holding up their black queen. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you for remembering everything except for the pun. That, what, was what was the pun? I only remember the black queen thing. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I remember the Nothing, whole. None of the rest. I have a very good long term memory, terrible short term memory. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, the IQ test had the well, that long was, term. No, that was the that was a fake one. That was a joke yeah. one. I got long COVID. <laughs> no, you're just you're just retarded now. Now yeah. after having COVID, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. What's our what's uh our co- what's our code word for that uh that shot you get? What we call uh we call it Bactine. You know that uh, stuff you put mm-hmm. on. Yeah, I think you, uh, the back teen is from Star Wars. I think. I'm pretty sure the back teen did mm-hmm. that to you. I watched a Star Wars movie. Well, uh, Adam Gilbert got Admiral the back teen. You, you see Adam Gilbert now. Yeah, mm-hmm. he used to look just like Alex Dragon Grinch. Now it's like Emily Ogle got the black teen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shot that makes you talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, she got she got the she got the nic- nicotine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I see. Yeah. <laughs> She smokes out of cigarettes, YouTube. I like the sketch she made that her three modes. 
I didn't see this. Uh, it's just one of them's like I didn't think it was Rovan that. coming over in all three of them. I think one of them's like party mode. Another one's just she's playing guitar, like kind of somber mode. And then the other one, uh, I think it was more about someone else. I think Jamie Schreiner came in and oh good. Yeah, but I was just thinking, do you, I maybe I just have one mode or am I bipolar? Yeah, you have maybe? one mode. Too many, yeah. <laughs> too many people are making sketches. Yeah. Too many people are making sketches. What did I say? Like you have no emotional affect or whatever yeah, I used to say about you. All sorts of things you would say about me. <laughs> sound like yeah, you have brain damage. Yeah, brain damage. You can inflict your voice. Who? Yeah. Uh, Who's, who says this? You. I used to say all this about oh. Dylan. Oh, Kevin yeah. tell him so that I've that my well, yeah, my it, eyes are lifeless or something. What? Okay. Well, because well, his Dylan, eyes are kind of lifeless as well. <laughs> there is just like a disconnect. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, Dylan, would you agree? It's probably less mean that I just call you retarded when these guys say all these like like descriptive things. I just say retarded. Well, people like when a compliment is, is specific. It, is it less mean or is it just more like you've simplified what we're saying? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I've like simple. taken everything we've said and put it into one word. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's way more efficient. It's just more efficient. I think it's the same. That's how I all, that's, that's how all language, save time that's how all language should be. Yeah. We need to slim it's down. efficiency. We need to slim down the and synonyms, we'll all sound the same. and then Bob Keen will have to quit comedy because we don't know what the source yeah. is. And we'll, and we'll you know how Sam Talent's like a poet? Yeah, I hate when he's he, like, he's kind of he's kind of like Ezra putting on the pounds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, me, me come and on, were, Ezra Pound, that was a good. I one. don't know what that is. He's a poet, uh, famous it poet. Sounds Jewish. Ezra, yeah, no. I don't know if you can call me retarded <laughs> anymore. With, Why? Because w- your my IQ is like fifty oh, points that's above true. you. Right? I still call, I, we, so you don't think if anyone's retarded, I just think it's you, you based on no. IQ. So you don't think Rain Man's retarded? Uh, uh, no, he's a savant. Well, yeah, yeah. that's you too. You're yeah, an idiot so savant. Say, yeah. Just say savant. Yeah. Idiot savant. You're a retarded savant. It, I'm, well, idiot implies there's an idiot savant as a thing. Yeah, but it's like when you're dumb, but you can but, but idiot, you can do yeah. like big math problems. But that, yeah. that's a pl- I think I think <laughs> that's not PC tricks. anymore, idiot savant. No. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think retard is coming back as okay to say. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you could kind of own it. Well, you're retarded. I I've been a good way. You just change I don't know. To, you got the low IQ. Yeah. I what know. the? I, I told can you, you spell that even? I was just thinking about Forrest Gump was kind of the first love on the spectrum. Uh (laughs) Honestly. And that did not work out. He Forrest Gump was the first episode of Love on a Spectrum. We should (gasps) have learned. Barely dodged fucking AIDS. Yeah. (gasps) (laughs) (laughs) That's what he was like when he almost got AIDS. What was up? I don't know. What an abusive. I heard they made a straight up Down syndrome dating show now. Did you hear about it? I want to see it. It's called like love, like, d- like down, down, to fat. down to get in love or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> down bad. <laughs> yeah, I can't watch like new TV shows unless it's like uh, a cool crime show. Mm-hmm. Love on the Spectrum is pretty good. It's about British people dating. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen that that like commercial where the the retarded kid goes up and the black kid is like, "What's up, man?" The Chantix commercial. No, <laughs> it's like in a high school, and then like this, the, he's like r- running past him, and then the black kid's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" And then like they're all nice to him and like protect him from bullies, and even oh. though, but it's uh, the kid looks like he might be the Trump shooter. Actually, I think I've seen this. Yeah, oh, I'll well, dig well, it up because I definitely wait. Haven't it, seen wait, it. didn't they say that that guy was in like a Blackstone commercial or Blackwell, something? Blackwell, yeah. Black, uh, I think it's Blackstone. The or, or Black, Black, Black Rock. Black Rock. Yeah. Rock. Black Rock. The, the what giant, are you talking about? Jimi Hendrix. The finance. The two financial yeah. giants are Black Rock and Vanguard. Wait a minute, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Black Rock. Yeah, Black Rock. Yeah, I don't know one Jimi Hendrix song. All I know is that he uh, did the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> He did a... Uh, what else did he do? Excuse me while I kiss the sky. He did, every, everyone says he's so good. He has a left-handed guitar. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that Lenny Kravitz is just him. He did all along the not, Watchtower I'm pretty cover. Sure, I'm pretty sure he's not dead and Jimmy and uh, Lenny oh, Kravitz is Don't get is me him. started on fucking... You know, Lenny Kravitz has got the Drake thing going on. Half Ju- black, half Jewish. Mm-hmm. This guy. But he's, but he's cooler. He's much cooler. Yeah. yeah, I saw a picture of him and the he other day. He doesn't, he doesn't try to be a gangster. He's just like... Uh, 
fucking. He's he's yeah. got a strong six pack now. Does he's he? sixty. Dude, he's always been in I'm pretty 30. good shape. I'm gonna say. Do you do he you look better than? Do me. you look up like uh, six packs of guys? No, I saw someone <laughs> share it, and then I saw another person share it. I, li- I just it pictured a hundred open Kravitz. tabs of Google images, and it's just yeah, like it's Jake a, Gyllenhaal celebrity abs. celebrity bodies. Lenny Kravitz yeah. abs. Oh, look at those delts. It's like <laughs> I hope the guys <laughs> never Michael see Michael Myers <laughs> abs. <laughs> How big are Michael Myers' delts? <laughs> <laughs> Just all abs. <laughs> no, but it was like... I want to see, I wanna see what Dale's abs look like under all that. Probably, like, huge abs. No. Our uh, friend of the show... No, I bet his leg... Mm-hmm. Must, no, he doesn't even mm-hmm. walk, though. Somebody sent me a link that our friend of the show, Leslie Tanner, is on Wikipedia. Oh, yeah, he's And it's that. a picture of him holding... It's like him streaming, and he's holding his foot barefoot up. <laughs> To the camera. Somebody clipped it and put it on a That's foot wild. fetish website. I they might have mine. I could hear that guitar. Oh, because he has it's, it's like pressed against the mic. Uh, I remember learning it. They have my feet haze on there. Like, I accidentally submitted my feet to that website. Purple haze. Like I'll lead my braid. <laughs> Purple haze in my brain is like the government is turning him gay, right? <laughs> really? They put the purple haze in his brain and now he's wants to kiss this guy. <laughs> purple gaze. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. I got the purple haze all in my brain. Government chemicals that are making me gay. <laughs> um, a quick break from the guitar. I want to take a bite out of comedy. All right, guys. Um, so, uh, what's new in the comedy scene? You've been going to mics. You've been. What's your comedy experience these days? Comedy, dude. I'm... I love comedy. Yep. I love comedy. Uh, yeah. That's you, my experience. You should stop playing that. I, did, yeah. I let this uh, guy with Parkinson's go up at the open mic. I didn't discriminate against him. But his hands were waving all around. I thought that had to be super distracting to Jake Peter, who probably thought he was just talking a lot of shit in sign language. Because uh, <laughs> oh, he I, couldn't control his hands. I never, <laughs> they were going all over. Do you think... Yeah. Do you think it, I was like, this guy is fucking loudmouth ASL. Do you think whenever he's parking his car, he's like, I'm parking his son? <laughs> True. Hey, can you be loud with sound lang- or sign language? Um, just like you move your hand even stronger. Just dressed your very big. I'm, sure, I'm sure. I mean, in those communities, they probably have all these unwritten rules because the, the, yeah. it's like baseball, you know? All you're doing yeah. is sitting on the fucking... They don't have any unwritten rules. They have a lot of unsaid rules. Un- nice. Yeah, so A lot of unheard Unh- rules. Unhanded uh, rules. They yeah. only have written rules. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that would suck to be deaf <laughs> and also... That would yeah. suck to be deaf and also be Ashton Kutcher from when he wakes up with no arms and butterfly effect. Imagine you buy a ticket <laughs> to go see the movie Signs and then it turns Johnny? out there's no signing. Oh, yeah. Movies. You thought it was going to be a movie about sign language. Yeah. <laughs> turns out you have no idea what's going on. I, th- I, I, I can't thought, hear anything. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was going to see signs. Turned out uh, it was Scary Movie 3, and, mm-hmm. and the signs in the cornfield were just attack here. That is and such a reach. The house. Wait, what? <laughs> you just always need to talk about Scary Movie 3. It's the best movie. So it's like if we mentioned a movie that was like such a reach. <laughs> like I no. thought I was going to see that movie, but no, then it was the movie I always no, want Sign, to talk about. Si- Sign spoof Scary Movie uh, scary 3 spoof Signs. Oh, uh, okay. All right. There's not. All right. Bitch. I've never seen it. Well, maybe. I've never seen Signs either. Well, maybe before. Uh, d- I need to open a, up my eyes and see the signs. Maybe before s- saying it's a reach, you should see <laughs> one of the two movies. I, I Well, the problem is I'm like <clears> Mike Dwyer. I need to open up my eyes and see the signs. Yeah, he, that's why does, my why does cat he... looks like Mike Dwyer. <laughs> and I can't unsee it because uh-huh. he's got he's closing his eyes all the time. And oh yeah, that means he loves you. Uh huh. Oh, but I was like trying to I like was trying to put like two pictures next to each other. Maybe we can post it for the fans. I love uh, that. That, yeah. that one Nazi. He might not, but I got a picture that looks like Black Mike Dwyer. Uh, uh, that one Nazi at the open mic you that, see it? that Mike yeah. Dwyer was screaming at. If that if that Nazi was smart, he would have called him uh, Mike Dwyer. That starts with a K. Uh oh, Mike Choir. No, yeah, because uh, <laughs> he's screaming. Pipe Dwyer, something like that. Pipe, yeah. pipe, pipe it up. You guys, you guys ever get boners? <laughs> Oh my god! I just got one right now. That was the sound of it. <laughs> that was how my first one sounded. That was the when I took my own virginity. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> that is very Mike Dwyer. It's a black is that guy. His father? Um, when you guys, uh, the first time you guys beat off, uh, did regular? Did what the hell are you asking me? About? No, it's, uh-huh. it's a question. Did uh, did. 
clear jizz come out or white jizz or nothing? Is this depends on the age or the part of puberty you were For at. me, it was, a, it was a stick that came out with the flag on it that said bang. Uh-huh. <laughs> I started beating off so early that like nothing came out, gun. but I still got the uh-huh. orgasm. And then it, and <laughs> you then tell he, he just wanted to say what he wanted to say. He asked us a question, and we answered. He didn't respond uh-huh. to well, it. Well, you didn't. You what were you saying? I don't even know what you said. I said a flag yeah. came out with the said the word bang on it. Well, I, I knew that you weren't like saying the Joker's yeah. anything real. <laughs> But you weren't really asking me for an answer. No, I was asking. Because you just wanted to say what happened when you came the first time. Oh, That's what I like funny. when people have a conversation and it's just like, like my favorite candy is this. And then the other person's like. Well, I, no, I was offering mine as the first one and you guys can go ahead. And you get, asked us what we did when we came. Yeah, and I was offering mine so you guys wouldn't feel uncomfortable saying. I had already said what mine was before you did. Okay. We were uncomfortable even more. Now. I was uncomfortable by the question, to be honest. Well, actually, so but you, I still answered immediately. So and you then said you answered as if I didn't. You answer. said you were beating up before Jizz came out, so that was young. I did, what? I said that. <laughs> did you say that? You agreed no. when I said it. <laughs> I was probably just yesing you. Did you guys? You guys were beating off before Jizz came out. Yeah. No. What the hell? Mm-hmm. I didn't. I didn't even know what was going on. And, and then Clear Jizz just came out for a period, dream, and then and I was like, "What the fuck was that? That was amazing." <laughs> yeah. I, I remember the first time I came, it was kind of painful. <laughs> I remember all the black guys in my school would say that beating off is gay in high school. It is. Like, they're like beating off gay as hell, but then they, think about this. They were teenagers. They would go home and beat off, and be, like they would think that they were gay. So Maybe they, they would do other like stuff. looking what you were looking at. What did, what did it mean? I think they were saying that what you were looking at made it gay. No, uh, they were, what you, maybe they were no, commenting they're, they're, on the, the way you did it. The no, abs, the ab tabs. <laughs> did, did, you're not gonna put this ab thing on me, pal. Too many ab tabs open. I, I <laughs> you're not gonna flip the abs thing on me, pal. You're the hey, guy who looks up abs. Hey, let me open an ab. It was your idea, so. <laughs> um, no, no, but you're like, what are you looking up? A bunch of abs on different tabs. No, but it's so funny. Like, what? like all these guys would you be like, call the name of the episode "Ab Tabs." Abs tabs, <laughs> and then yeah. we all have abs in the picture. They're like, "Yo, you, like you, 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 you beat off a dick, you gay, bro." Yeah. You know, and uh, then yeah. and then they would go home. Maybe and, they all fucked their fleshlights. No, they would go home. <laughs> they, this is before fleshlights. They would go home and beat off, and then they'd be super ashamed. Yeah. Have you heard of like the thing in jail that? They make that's like a, what? There's like something <laughs> they that, make something in jail. Yeah, and like share they have sex it. with and share it. Oh, it's something like a, like a homemade like flashlight. Yeah, uh, they can make like anything in jail. Uh-huh. They can make more stuff in jail <laughs> than outside of jail. Uh-huh. They should. All those guys should become engineers. It's like a you thing. Can find God in yeah, jail. Yeah, it's, it's a think tank. It's a bunch of MacGyvers. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Jail. Just going to the library all day reading. Yeah, jail geniuses. rules. Yeah, uh-huh. figuring it's out. Kind of bullshit. Like almost. reading up on their ideologies and and fighting it each other like free <laughs> yeah fist fighting <laughs> yeah they're basically training like to become genius fighter uh-huh. like mm-hmm. strong like uh like uber uber men you yeah kind of yeah. like i'm pretty sure in most prisons they have like a bunch of copies of mind comp and a bunch of copies of like black black panther books uh-huh. and then like <laughs> <laughs> and black panther the movie and also copies of like uh mexican panther groups mm-hmm. the mexican panthers <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Lucha Libre. The Hans Kim thing about, yeah, they needed Black Panther, names a bunch of famous black people that are cool. But what they really need is a guy that dresses up as a cat. Yeah, Cat Panther. Uh Yeah. That's the hero that. Chinese people got guys that dress up like a big paper dragon. I love Uh Chinese people. Five, Five Chinese guys come together. They're like, we yeah. see what you guys are doing with like two people in a horse costume. Uh-huh. We got eight people in a dragon, bitch. Uh-huh. Wait, the Japanese, uh, <laughs> you guys got that? You guys got paper dragons? We're, we're going to do paper houses Ooh, and yeah. and little paper cranes. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then and then so, we're and we're like, we're just going to use like uh, materials that actually stay there uh-huh. and uh, use paper for like writing. Yeah. You know what would be fucked up? You know what would be fucked up is if uh, yeah. <laughs> is if like an NBA team visited uh, Japan and then they play, started playing the Bulls walkout music and then uh-huh. the NBA players just started running through everyone's houses. <laughs> <laughs> like they run through that big paper banner. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, awesome. yeah. They're just running through the walls of everyone's houses. Running with the dun, Bulls. Dun, 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 whatever the fucking Bulls song. I was trying to do that run with the Bulls thing. I thought it would be the Chicago Bulls. 
That would be a funny cartoon for someone to draw. Yeah. So the Bulls, the Chicago Bulls from the 90s go to Japan. Da, 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 da. And they <laughs> start playing that song. And then the Bulls run through all the paper houses. <laughs> <laughs> that was like my main thing. I, would, I like drawing comic books. I was very inspired by... Captain Underpants. Yes, dude. I, I was that. huge in Captain Underpants. Mm-hmm. But then Same now here. Do you think that's why well, we're right? friends? Probably. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're it, like the kids from... It's it. a mix of that and us all following Chris and Toomey. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <but> on, <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke from last week on Patreon. No, I sent her... Or I sent this girl like that because <laughs> she had chipped nails. I was like, how do your nails look? Chip and nails. Chip and nails. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Damn. She yeah. might use that honestly, if you, and that might make her not hate us. Yep. <laughs> Wait, who hates us? Everybody? I know. Kristen Toomey, I think. Oh, I'm friends with Kristen. Kristen Toomey doesn't hate you us. You are. Uh, she she won't accept my friend request. She probably doesn't. Uh, know she doesn't you. know you. Well, yeah, I mean, you met her once. But it's probably better. She's if she extremely. She doesn't. She's know extremely me. paranoid online. Yeah. <laughs> so well, maybe I don't know who this is. Maybe you look like a Fed doer. <laughs> What I was b- so jealous when she said the, the Gen Z thing. That's the last one. I'm like, God damn it. That's a it. good line, yeah. How did I think of this? The first time I met her, uh, like she said hi to me, and we had never met in person. She was just from online. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and yeah, and we just were dressed like, you know, Are you guys, fe- are you guys feminists? Um, uh, Does that mean you're against women? Yeah. No, no, no. That's what it sounds like. Like racist, uh-huh. feminist. Yeah, that's true. I, th- these ists got to uh-huh. go. It, it's ga- it's just got to be anti this, anti this, uh-huh. anti this. Okay? And scared of this, scared of this, scared of not phobic. Hey, phobic. we don't I'm need a, a racist. racist. We don't need man. feminists. We just need Christ. Uh-huh. Yeah. We need, that's the only ist I and need. And we need to come together. Christ. We need uh-huh. to come together as a community. Uh, no, so I think there's only one audience, the human audience. Can we all just get along? Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I, I, holy, I just came up with that. Holy what? shit! Can we all just, just, just get yeah. along? Yeah. Yeah. Why can't we be friends? Mm-hmm. I, I, dude, that's profound. Yeah. That's well, right, and it's like you know, I'm like recording you a band book. called War. <laughs> I, I need to get a bigger gavel like they have in Congress. We, me and me and him, me and Jason were talking about the gavels in Congress. I didn't mm-hmm. know, yeah, but you, they have a big. They have one. a giant one. It's like, it, it's like this big. I go, I go, who came up with this gavel? Is that Gallagher? No, but yeah, it really, it looks... You know, like, they should yeah. have a big watermelon in there, too. Yeah. It, Remember someone yeah, telling me about Gallagher? It's like, it's like the size of a sledgehammer, and they, and they it's a cartoonish mm-hmm. uh, thing, and they use it to enact the most important decisions of our country. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a giant cartoon gavel. Like an Excalibur, almost. Like, should we declare war? Yeah, we'll use uh-huh. this. To... <laughs> oh. Probably, you know, we get things done. Whenever it's like all this race stuff, all that I love diversity, it. we need diversity. And how come we can't just book everybody? I think we need diversity. Can't Street. we all be on the same show? I've been saying we need more diversity of species on these shows. Uh-huh. I was saying I want to see some more goldfish. I think more, Chicago is the, the some more uh, city. I think I want to see an elephant. What's an elephant got to say? Chicago is the most diverse, segregated city of all time. <laughs> Yeah, that, I actually Diverse. said that in a sociology class. I took. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's like pockets. Yeah, you po- know, like there's like it's like, like it's like pocket pussies. There's like people. a neighborhood that's all black. It's a PPP, but we got a neighborhood for each one, mm-hmm. and they're like very uh, one thing, but mm-hmm. they're all isolated from each other. Yeah, it's like not a melting pot. Right? No, no, more of a salad. Mm-hmm. Somebody said salad. More of a Dude. salad than a melting pot. Melting pot is one flavor. Salad yeah. is a Salads bunch of are different gay. flavors. I would say it's uh-huh. like a it's like a supreme pizza. I like a supreme pizza. Yeah, or just like a you got like uh, green pepper, a sausage. I don't do meat, but I like uh, tomatoes, onion, and and a green pepper. What f- foods uh, would it be? Yeah. Okay, a pineapple. No. Oh yeah. What's the best food for each? It's of for those? my pineapple gland. For you, I have a pineapple gland in no, my brain. For you, that's what the doctor said. <laughs> for you, it's swine apple. You have a pi. You have. You know oh, where some. You know, that's what Aristotle said, is he thought your soul was located in the pineapple gland. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, um, before, uh, uh, we, we got to close this one off in a second, because, oh shit, we have to do uh, ads. And oh, I, yeah. I actually have to I have to do a real ad, because I have to send a clip into this uh, wallet company. Oh, this is... So just, actually, Jason, don't fuck it up. 
<laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> I mean, if you do it, you're if you, triggering. Don't worry, I mean, if you fuck it up, if, if you if you fuck it up, then we're, we're just gonna lose the ad thing. What if I said that to you? What would you do? I mean, if it was a real ad thing, I wouldn't. I wouldn't fuck it up. Okay, okay, then I won't. I just um, think like. What could you need less than an expensive that. wallet? Um, Dylan, say like, <laughs> I, I, say I lost my wallet. Is it the expensive? Other day or something. Yeah, you awesome. get a big. We give a big coupon. It's not it. expensive at all. I can't even afford this wallet. Uh, D- Dylan, <laughs> what am I gonna put in this thing? Dylan, say I had that experience in my life wallet? where I was like really broke. My, and minus forty five percent. It's like thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. So, but uh, Dylan, that's actually like normal price for Dylan, a wallet. Dylan, can you say I, I know because I we had a hard time buying a wallet can one say, time. <laughs> can you say I lost my wallet uh, yesterday? Why do I have to lose it? Okay, Jason, can you? Say it? I lost my wallet today oh, to nice. see if I s- still could buy things uh-huh. without a wallet. I it's focused empty because on you bought the, the wallet. That's a good. That's a good emptiness of my pockets. I, I like that song, but mm-hmm. can you just? Capital One, what's in your wallet? Nothing. Yeah. I can't afford one. You lost your wallet? Though? I had to sell it. What's in my a... wallet? How about where's my wallet? Uh-huh. I lost it. You yeah. lost you lost your wallet? Where's wallet? I lost my wallet. Well it's a great book. Wallet and Gramas. <laughs> wait, wait, Jason. Let me tell it's you like something. Where's Waldo? But let me tell you no something wall. here. Me and Dylan, we both have this wallet. Patrick. We both have this wallet called the Smart Plus Finder uh-huh. wallet from Oskang. Will you please and tell me about it and like kind of promote it. it to me like I should buy one? Well, absolutely. It connects to find my iPhone app, so you can find it if you lose it anywhere. It wow. has a little speaker, so it can like play uh, if it's around the house. If you know. Oh, so. that's cool! It's like a tracking device. And I spend half my <laughs> I spend like half my life. Looking Dylan's at gonna do it, ruin it. If you if you if you're trying to do no, something, I think porn, a tracking device. It's cool. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I wanted to I say what he just said. I know, I know. Uh-huh. And if you, you ru- it if you ruin like it, if, if we so I can tell me and him are on the same wavelength <laughs> right now. I turned off my mic. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna say right now, that. if you ruin it, then if we get money from these guys, you're not getting any. Yeah, if. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that would probably happen. We got free wallets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where's mine? Well, you weren't on the show. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. But well, so so you didn't even buy it. No. Do you need a wallet? I'll give you mine. But it, it is my. I don't it, want that shit. It is literally that track. It connects right to the CIA. It is literally my favorite wallet. <laughs> it's um, all right. Um, but you didn't buy it. You only. I mean, I would. Why didn't buy you it. buy it before? I didn't. I didn't know about it until they emailed me. They they reached out. Okay. Correct. I didn't know about it until I was watching so our podcast and Mac advertised away. it. They're I giving it away to people so that they promote it. Yeah, it's, I feel it's, like it's, it's, it's marketing. Why would you buy it then? To have a wallet. What do you mean? Because you need a wallet. Be, well, if you can get it for free. Well, you'd no, have to you, have a successful podcast. You have to like have a us. podcast that, that, that can promote no. things. Don't you know about but, how but we, a, advertising, you, you they always one. give freebies this to the This is social people? media marketing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's normal. Very normal. They almost always send you the free item so that you can see it for yourself. Mm-hmm. You think uh, So that's why we're doing this. For for this and then you think if, if people Web use Surf our is promo code, athletic greens? then we get money. <laughs> so we're doing this because they'll give us money. Yes. You think Hassan okay. Abibi is buying athletic greens? Yeah. No, they send it to him. <laughs> yeah. Um. But hold on. Um, kind of I'm in money mode. I'm in money. I'm that. in mo- money. I'm in money mode. Uh, wait, hold on. So money mode means don't buy a wallet. Okay, Dylan, get stop. It for, for, we're okay. almost done. Um, I'm in money mode. How about you guys? I got a bunch of this call. Okay, tell us no, what's cool about the wallet. Uh, do you have uh, do you have your wallet on you? Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh. Then you lost it. No, I have it right here. Where? In my pocket. I just, you know, Dylan. You don't need to be in denial about how you lost your wallet. We all do it. It, yeah. it happens to me all the time. I spend about half my life uh, looking for my wallet. I hate that. I spent half my life looking for items for my wallet for everything. But mm-hmm. that's why I got the Smart Plus. Oh, I found it. It's okay. in my pocket the whole time. That wallet, it sucks. No, it's cool. It says guess. It's got... Okay. <laughs> but anyways, uh, if you want to join the Oskang gang, get the Oskang Smart Plus. Find my iPhone connected wallet. So it connects to find my iPhone. That also connects to your AirPods, whatever, all that, your Apple Watch. Uh, so you can find it if you ever lose it. And 
it flips open like this, so you can say FBI, and then oh. also you put all your cards in a thing like this. Oh, nice. And it goes up like a switchblade. It's pretty sweet, and you just grab one out. I used to have uh -huh. a ridge wallet. You get to pull all the cards out. I used to be like, they'd be like, can I see your juggling. ID at the bar? I'd uh -huh. be juggling them yeah, around. No. They'd be flying uh -huh. around. There'd be 100 cards everywhere. And then people would pick them up. Everyone was laughing at me. Uh -huh. I was a laughing stock, and oh, it's, it, it wasn't fun. So I threw away my ridge wallet, threw in the river, uh -huh. and I said, I hope you sink, and no, no, nobody ever finds you. I yeah. said that's in my ridge wallet. Who's and, the uh, laughing stock now? Yeah, who's the laughing stock now? Now I'm Os Kang Gang. You got the money clip on the outside plus a business card holder. What, what I use it for? And is that like a rib texture? It seems like. Oh, no, it's not. It's like a. It's like a really to keep nice. keep it in your pocket. And it's a front or back pocket wallet. Uh -huh. It's small enough to be a front pocket wallet, but you can also put it in your back pocket. I like back pocket to make it look like I have an ass. Yeah, my yeah, ass. my yeah, my yeah. ass. And then I actually put my digital business card in here. Uh -huh. Because there's just enough room for the QR code for people to scan it and get what? my info. Yeah. So, and then look, look at this. It's like a cool magnet. Look kind of flippy thing. So, guys, go to Amazon.com and look up A U S K A N G Oskang uh, wallet. Uh -huh. It'll come up. And if you type in code promo code bad comedy, you get forty five percent off. It's already uh -huh. only sixty bucks with all these features and being this compact. Uh -huh. And if you type in the code, it's like 30 bucks. Uh -huh. So just uh, get one or you're missing out. This code won't last forever. And uh, these things are flying like hotcakes, folks. So uh -huh. grab one while you can. I swear to God, I, when I'm being, I'm, I say fake things a lot as a bit. Yeah. I swear to God, this is the best wallet I've ever had. Oh, I swear God. to God is my safe word. Uh -huh. This is the best wallet I've ever had. No cap. I swear to God. I, honestly, my testimonial is uh, I, I don't like being the only guy with that one. It makes me look pretty broke. Well, you should get Jason's because he doesn't use it. Yeah. So Actually, it's, it's actually a really good one. I'm not yeah, like, yeah. I swear to God. Uh, otherwise, I, I wouldn't use it if I didn't. I literally, I use it. Uh, but um, I would hate to be the only person at home without one of these. Well, we got these like uh, before we even talked about... Uh, the uh, the uh, inter about you. No, uh, I, I understand. It just. I yeah, know. The, you I know. know I, I would hate. I, Awkward. Now it's like. Awkward. If Jason doesn't give me his. Whatever. I'm gonna have to buy it. Yeah, Jason will give you his. Um, do you have any plugs? Um, electricity. I uh, I can't wait to show you this battery, dude. Mm -hmm. Super six on Monday. Guys, I have, a, I have a huge battery for this. Uh, superpower leaf blower uh -huh. i have i'm really excited about this i don't know i want to see how it recharges what it kind of how long the charge lasts and the, the if you can see the electricity the charger has a fan in it because it's, it needs it okay so yes it this is okay that's a battery <laughs> guys i got quite the battery it could probably power an airplane uh -huh. or a tesla um you get charged with battery after this yeah do you have any other uh plugs um no um Follow me at Bad Boy Comedy, folks, um, on everything. And also, um, I'm going to be doing a show in front of a bunch of Hell's Angels and um, uh, Hispanic bikers um, at the at Small World Bar and Grill uh, on the south side. Just mm -hmm. Google it. Um, John Hickok's going to be on it. Max V. Um, it's going to be a good time. And um, also... Uh, the live show is going to be September 8th or 9th. It's a Sunday. That Sunday, put it on your calendar. Mark it off and write, draw, draw the Barney in it. Just to remind yourself. Draw Barney on a uh -huh. hammock in it and, and just write our logo in. That's like, the password. That's the password. Uh -huh. um, oh, and, uh, and we're going to get you guys patrons. You're going to get a special uh, promo code, obviously, for tickets because we love you guys. And that's about it. Uh, follow Jason at Cool Jason Melton and everything. Come and watch me uh, win the gauntlet on Friday and then August 8th. Actually, don't, honestly, you don't really need to follow Jason. No, you can unfollow Jason. Unfollow Jason. Follow, yeah. Nathan, follow Nathan Lund. Yes. Yeah. Um, but on that note, folks, uh, grab an Oz King wallet. and Oh, and uh, T from Cool Steeper Club, promo code Bad Comedy, 25% off. Not quite as good as 45% off. Uh -huh. And also... 
a wallet is a lot more permanent than tea. Yeah, and, and you know what? And I that, would say don't buy any fentanyl because that's also permanent. Yeah, yeah. That'll <laughs> just be careful out there. It'll permanently uh, damage uh, your brain or yes. uh, or en- permanently end your existence. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, um, folks, don't end your own existence. Just be happy. Don't worry. And we'll catch you across on uh, just beyond the river da- bank, beyond the shore. Be happy. It's pretty simple.